Hey everyone, Rob Greenfield here, and today I'm going to introduce you to a beautiful family in a beautiful home right here in southern France, just outside of the city of Toulouse, about a half hour. And this is a family of four that is working towards living a more sustainable life. They're already doing a lot, but in the next years to come, they will be doing a lot more to live sustainably. I'm really excited to share their story with you. But this isn't just any family. I've actually been staying with them for the last five weeks while I've been on lockdown here in France. So here they are to share their life with you. And this is the life that I've been sharing for the last five weeks. It was a desire to have a wood and to have wood for, for our home. And um, so it has been designed to be not the most sustainable as you can imagine, but I mean, the most we can, we imagine. So the thing is, you know, first we have all those windows, very wide windows, and they are on the north of the house. So it might be weird to think that we put the big windows on the north, but we are in a very, very hot region of France. So if we had put those, you know, big windows and we need light inside, if we have put these big windows, at the first of the hot, it would be so, so hot in the summer that it would be impossible to stay in the hot. So we did, you know, the opposite. And which what is what most of the people around in the south of France are doing. So we move inside. And as you see, we have also some, you know, open windows on the south, but it's cook, so to create a kind of... A, Win, you know, to 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 get free to get the fresh air a freeze inside the house, you know, fresh air inside the house. And uh, so the house is very has been, you know, designed to be very first, very simple house if you look outside, and and very useful one. I mean, if there is three parts of the house over there, we are where my room and my my wife. Here is a, what we call the the room for life, where you know we all gather in the same house, in the same you know, room, and we have your know, open, open uh, cooking place, and um, over there is the other rooms, and it's it has been designed that way because if we, if uh, my when the kids are you know older, when they will, when they leave the house, we just have to to close the door, and we have a smallest you know house smaller place to to eat in in winter. We have also a stove, we put a stove, and this is where all the heat come for in, in winter or in cold time. And everything is, is, is from here. We can, everything from this, uh, this stove. And it's not only beautiful, you know, it's very hot, really. We can have 22 degrees in the, uh, in the home in, in the winter when it's 10 degrees minus Celsius, you know, outside. So it's very, very efficient. And beautiful. It's very, uh, we like the, fi the fact to have you know, the fire inside the house, this kind of small fire inside the house. We are in the middle of the day, it's uh, 2, uh, 2 p.m., 2.40 uh, 2 p.m., and we have no light on, of course, and we can, we can stay like this very, very, very late in the day because, you know, we have very, very good natural lightning thanks to those big windows. And it was very important for us to have, you know, a lot more light we can inside the house. We have a kitchen here. It's an open kitchen. It, it has been something very important when we designed the house because you know it's all, all, always weird when the, someone who is cooking co uh, is separated from the other. So now, if I'm here or my wife uh, is here cooking, we can be all, all all the other can be around the table and we can speak. We can you know it's a, it's our way of living. We don't like to separate uh, people like that. So we have this uh, kitchen, and if we go here, and uh, yeah, and what we try to do, because we, do, we know at all it's not perfect, we're in the process of evolving, but we try to have most food we can in, in things like this, you know, and we have a lot of them, and various you know, pasta, lentils, rice, and so on. And we try to have a lot of thing, a thing is this kind of thing to avoid, you know, the most we can. Of course, there is, we still have 
you know, box like this. We go, and we are, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, it's just a, a journey to to the to be good. And um, also, you know, something important is you have a washing machine and dry and dry and, and, and dryer. It's it seems weird, but you know, actually, those those two machines are 19 years old. So it's very important for us to have very very good quality stuff. So we are we bought this 20 uh, 19 years old. 19 years ago, and it's still working perfectly. And we we like to have things that last the most we can. And uh, it's, it's, it's true for for our equipment. It's true for the clothing we have. So I have clothing who are quite old for most of them, and I keep them as long as we can. My my shoes has been repaired twice, and they are seven or eight years old. And so I will keep repairing them as long as I can. And we have um, good quality clothing. I think it's better to buy, it's a little more expensive to buy good quality clothing, but on the long term, you are really, really, really a winner. Because you, I have some stuff like this, Patagonia stuff that are 25 years. We don't have air conditioning, we refuse to have it. Uh, even if it's, it could be you know, 40 degrees Celsius in, in summer here, but uh, we, we, what we do in summer when it's very hot, we just close the, 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 you know, we put some black on the windows, you know, to be sure that the light doesn't come from the south. And we put some water, so we just, you know, put some water on the soil, actually. And the natural evaporation of water, you know, give us some clean, some uh, fresh air. And it's important because, you know, climate, uh, air conditioning is very, 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 um, you know, needs a lot of power. One point important is to have electricity in this house. We subscribe to an alternative uh, distributor. So we, we don't, this distributor puts, uh, the electricity he puts in the system is comes from hydro, the sun, and the wind. So it's a really, really uh, sustainable uh, electricity that he puts in the system. And we are subscribing to this to this uh, distributor. It cost a little bit more, but it was a choice we have decided to do. And if you go outside, we can see that we have the wood. It's a summer now, so we are a little bit short of wood. We have been using using it for the whole winter and the you know, first part of summer, of spring. And, um, and uh, so this wood come, for the moment we are still buying it, and uh, we are you know, looking to, uh, to buy some woods to be able to uh, cut our own wood. And uh, so but this will be you know, in, a, in a close future, I don't know exactly. But for the moment, we buy it from, from a seller on, in large capacity. So we will stock uh, at, you know, during the summer, we will buy for one or two years, I think. So we, we, have, we have a lot of stock. If we have a dryer, we almost don't use it because what we do is mainly use the sun, which is a natural dryer. And in winter time, we do it just inside because you know because of the heat that the, the stove gives us. You know we we don't need to use the dryer. So you we use we have this dryer, but we have ever you know, almost not use it. Well, stock of water. Actually, we are at the moment we have ability to have something like three thousand liters. We, we plan to have 7,000 liters, and I will explain to you why later. Uh, as I told you, we haven't had really rain for almost six weeks now, so it's very dry. We are hoping for the rain. It's something very weird, you know, when we look at the forecast, people always say, oh, it's going to be, we are going to have a very nice day. For us, you know, a nice day is not a sunny day. We like when it is water. We have a pool. We have a pool which is a pool with salt water. And uh, what we try now is to put, when we have to fill it up, do it with, you know, uh, rain water. It's why we need so much water, 7,000 liters is a lot, but we need it because when it's uh, in summertime, we need to put water in, in, the, in the pool to keep the level of the pool. Here is a garden, so we, we started it a year ago, now we are expanding it a, bit, a little bit, we are we are doubling, almost doubling the size this year, and we plan to, to go even more than that in the next years. And the front of the house, we are you know, developing a new area for, for gardening. And, um, 
And we have a compost over there. We have, those, I mean, two composters. That's one of the one of the big one, and uh, we like to compost the most we can. And um, in the garden now we have planted mainly potatoes. Uh, uh, what we have? Potatoes, radish, um, uh, onions. Uh, what do we have? Salads and things like that. And we are develop, you know, we are preparing the the tomatoes. Which is uh, very important, and some other, uh, a lot of other vegetables. And uh, what we like to do, because you can see there's a lot of place, we plan to have some, also some uh, uh, grape here. And on this, because it's very diff diff difficult uh, soil, and, but it could be good for grape, and, um, and some fruit trees. So, you know, but it's a long process, it's not we can't do everything in a in very short time because we have been here for three years and the first year was mainly to, to finish the house. So here are our vehicles. Actually, we have quite a, a I mean, you could see a lot of vehicles, but most, I mean, all of them have been, have been um, bought used. They are all used car. We bought them sometime very long time ago. And um, I have a motorcycle, which is uh, 29 years old. And, um, and the four-wheel drive car that we used May, I mean, only when we have to carry heavy stuff because we, we have often to carry very heavy stuff in, in what we are doing. Um, we, it's a 20 years old car. We have an electrical car for the daily, uh, daily uh, move and we bought it um, three years ago. And, um, and this one is a normal car that we had to buy because, you know, with electrical car you can go over 200 kilometers. So we have to, we need, because we, we come from our families a thousand kilometers away. So when we need, we just pack up in, a, in this uh, small car and uh, it's what we do. And, but, you know, for, for all the short distance movement, what we use, what we use is a bicycle. So we have several bicycles here. And uh, that's what we use when we have to, you know, to go on short distance, because it's it's easier and it's healthier for us. And um, so, but so I think, uh, yeah. So we are in the process of, uh, you know, doing it. So it's a uh, it's a journey. I always, I always say it's a journey. Dear friends, I hope that you got a lot out of that. There's a lot of lessons to learn from them and living more sustainably and transitioning to a lifestyle that walks a little bit more lightly, treads a little bit more lightly on the earth. Of course, this isn't the way it's gonna work for everybody. Everybody has different scenarios and there's a lot of people out there who, live, who are living a far more sustainable life. But I love this example because this shows what can be done for people that still live in a, you know, sort of traditional house and who want a lot of comforts of life, but this can show that there's still so much that you can do as an individual and as a family to live more sustainably. So if you got a lot out of this video, there are many more to come. Make sure to like it and leave a comment to help get this out in the YouTube algorithm and share this with people that you think could learn from it. If you're not subscribed, Make sure to subscribe to this channel where there are a lot more videos to come and there are already quite a few here to learn from. So I love you all very much and see you next time.